In this lesson, you're going to learn how to slay Riff by Mighty Riff. Blood and sand, milk and endless waters by all them witches. My name is Jared and welcome to Beholden to the Riff, the biggest bass channel on YouTube. Let's get right into it. We are in D standard tuning. So grab your axe, tune up, and let's do this. Here's the main riff, nice and slow. So this song is essentially a vamp. So we're repeating the same idea and really sinking into this riff. We're doing slight variations throughout the song, but it's really, it's it's all about the vibe and it's all about the story that, that he's telling and really setting up the guitar solo. So most of the riff is happening on the third string. Uh, we're gonna be playing, the root note here is on the second fret. This is gonna be, with the tuning, this is now gonna be an A. Uh, we're riding this second fret. Every once in a while at the at the last beat of a measure, we're going to be doing a bend, just a slight kind of a warbly bend here. This It's all about setting the tone, setting the vibe for the song. So. Every once in a while at the turnaround, we'll be throwing in an open third string. So it's gonna go. Once in a while on the turnaround, we'll be doing this thing where he slides up to the fifth, then up to the seventh fret. So these slides are really all, again, all about setting the tone and setting the vibe. It's there, if it was heavier, we would call this kind of sludgy sounding. So it's like kind of loose. The timing on here is, it sounds like it's mostly on the beat every once in a while. It, again, just to create a, a little more, little more character to it. You'll come in just slightly early on this, on the slide up to the fifth fret. <laughs> it's really subtle, but it, it's really cool when he does it. The other thing that happens a lot is we're going to be doing grace note kind of hammer-ons from open third string up to the second fret. So it's like. Usually on the, the first beat and like the third beat. So like the main beats of the measure. This. So when you're playing this thing, this is a great time to just lock in with the drums and just sink into this riff and really try to line up all the beats, but still keep keep the groove. Before we get into the next riff, I'd just like to take a moment to thank the Beholden to the Riff Patreon community. Your support means the world and makes all these lessons and all these tabs happen. Thank you so much. Once in a while, they break things up with kind of a, just like a mini chorus. Uh, the first time he plays it, goes like this. Mm -hmm. 
So that's second string, fifth fret, then slide out into an open. And pick that open. And then, this is tough to hear, but it sounds like he's playing the two open, open middle strings here, the second and third strings. It's really just really dissonant sounding, really piques your interest. Like, then it's seventh fret on the third string. Back into the main thing. We'll play another version of this mini chorus. It goes like this. So this is all on the second string. So it's five, slide out to open. Then it's seven, down to two. During the song, he'll play slight variations of it, but really sticks close to this main idea. Uh, things that it'll change up is just small rhythmic ideas. So it'll be like. Or like. He'll bring in these rhythmic ideas and really kind of build the tension in some spots. And it just kind of lifts the song a little bit, makes it a little thicker sounding. He might hit it a little harder just to, just to bring the song up a little bit. So I'm gonna play the entire outro along with the song. But before I do, thank you for checking out the video. If you dug the lesson, I highly encourage you to like the video, subscribe to the channel. This way YouTube will show this thing to more fans of all them witches, just like we are.